All right, guys, we made it into The Hague, Netherlands with my dad. We're walking to our hotel right now, but I'm very excited for this. First time back in Europe, and I think in like four years, which is crazy, but I'm excited to show you guys around. And it's currently 9 a.m. here. There's a seven hour time difference with Chicago. So stay tuned for the weird times and uploads. All right, you guys, it is day two. Sorry I didn't do too much talking, but we did so much stuff yesterday. We went to the museum and saw the girl with the pearl earring, which is one of the most famous paintings um, in the entire world. Then we had lunch at Catch, which this one I think is like a Michelin Bib Gourmand or something like that. So we had really good food there and we're gonna be going there again soon. So after that, we just walked around, uh, checked out downtown Hay, uh, Den Haag. And then after that, we were also just checking out the North Sea, which we're gonna go swimming there uh, later today. Uh, but just now, checked out this other museum, which was so interesting. It's like literally miniature buildings everywhere, but you get to read about it and it's very interactive and immersive. Uh, one of the most unique uh, experiences I've ever had for a museum where you just walk around, it's outdoors. People were speaking all different kinds of languages. So it felt like very international almost, but yeah. We just made it to the North Sea. It's 7.30 and it's still sunny and the sunset here is at 10 p.m. which is nuts, but we're about to go swimming. Hopefully the water's not too cold. Yesterday we went to one of the worst Italian restaurants I've ever been to in terms of service. Uh, and the food wasn't that good either. Like we literally had to leave after 40 minutes after like waiting for our food because we were still waiting. Like only the pizza came out at like 45 minutes. And I was like, what's going on like with the food and all that stuff? Like when is the pasta and the pizza or and the rest of the stuff coming out? And they're like, oh, it's going to come out soon. And then my dad like went to go check out on like the lamb chops that he ordered. The guy was literally just starting to cut the lamb chops. So I was like, yeah, no. So we just basically left and we went to this restaurant called Augustus, which was really good. We had lamb, uh, a lamb steak there with uh, goat cheese on top of it. It was so good. Um, and then now today is Tuesday. Yeah, today's Tuesday. I'm about to head out to the car museum. I think it's like the largest car museum or the oldest car museum. We'll see. Um, I forgot which one it was, but I'm going to grab some coffee right now. And then, uh, yeah, just walk to this car museum. It's like three miles away. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go to this coffee shop right now and see what they got too. So I just got my flat white with, they call it cow's milk, not regular milk and then a blueberry hazelnut croissant, which I'm very excited to try at Single Estate Coffee Roasters. All right, guys, we just finished our breakfast at Single Estate Coffee Roasters. That blueberry hazelnut croissant was honestly really good. 
and the guy's like, do you want cutlery with that? And me thinking, I was like, I'm just gonna eat with my hands. Then I realized how messy it was gonna be because it's super flaky too. I was like, ah. So I came back inside. I was like, I'll probably grab it. I'll probably grab that cutlery. But right now I'm going to this historic church that was built in the 13th century, I believe. Don't fact check me. I'll fact check myself actually after this video. But yeah, I'm walking there right now by this little canal pond thingy. Looks really cool. Europe's definitely a different place. You guys, I just found this like random like artist shop and then they have like they were advertising outside how they have like a garden with like fresh lemonade and so i'm here trying their fresh lemonade honestly a true hidden gem i think at least to me so i'm at simona's in the stock the stock uh just stumbled upon what their most famous famous thing is which is a uh, fried fish i forgot what fish though this is kibling with a garlic sauce and then also I got a crab roll, which looks interesting, but I'm excited to try all this. All right, guys, first time trying kibling. Wow. This is delicious. Crunchy, not like super deep fried. As you see, it's like more bubbly than flaky, but the fish is like really well seasoned too. I'm loving this. their tables literally seashells and sand this is insane i'm also at the, like the third simonis location during this trip i'm about to indulge once again by the beach with this heineken dude these are so good and i don't know what it comes from but like uh what they said was that the, since the water is so fresh in the netherlands that they use this for their beer which tastes very crisp look at this eel sandwich that they just brought me look at that very excited to try this thing out. I don't know what it is, but the sandwich is like so good. The eel is like pretty well marinated. Let's take a little bite. You know, I've been taking like bites all day. It's almost like a sardine, like salty, but like pretty good. You guys, so this battered cod filet just came with lobster sauce this looks absolutely insane and i'm gonna eat it while i watch youtube by the sea right now we're in delft which is not too far away from the hague we just stumbled upon one of the oldest churches in europe which is insane You guys, I just stumbled upon, like, on my way to the car museum, which I'm going today instead of Tuesday. Um, just didn't wake up early enough for that one on Tuesday, but I stumbled upon cows. Just cows grazing. How interesting is that? And then there's some swans right here.
All right, guys, that was honestly insane. That museum was top three for me in terms of museums that I've been to. All old cars, it's literally car history. It's a car museum. The biggest collection of the oldest cars in the world. Some were like, uh, The Godfather was uh, a movie that had those cars in them, like the taxi and the famous uh, car in there. The James Bond Maserati. It was really cool. And I got myself a little gift too. I got myself like a silver metal uh, Bugatti, but overall fantastic experience. And now I'm just like taking this walkway all the way back to the hotel because it's like three miles away and I don't really want to like take a bus. I'm just chilling. So yeah, but that was a very fun museum. So you guys, I just got a Stroop waffle. Sorry, I'm finishing it already, but it's basically Two little waffles with uh, fresh caramel inside. Oh my gosh. This is very good. It's sweet and uh, full of caramel, which is something that I probably would do over and over again. All right, guys, we just made it to Amsterdam. This is Amsterdam Central behind me with Bios. Almost. Yeah, you can just, of course, kind of, 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 kind of,